80% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you enjoy my videos, please make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my videos in the future. When playing solo, you are always at a disadvantage. You will always be outnumbered. But that is what makes succeeding as a solo player that much more fulfilling. But then being at the other end of that, the group dying to the solo player, is very, very infuriating. And that group will do anything to try and find out where you live, raid you and take back all the loot you took from them. And well this day I think I pissed off almost every single group on the server. Every single one of them wanna be the one to bring me down, and see my base go boom. But before we get into all of this, let's take it back to the beginning, as a naked on the beach. <sighs> okay, let's go. After getting some loot I made my way over to outpost to recycle and get some resources for a base. I found a tucked away area in the woods and decided to put down my first base here. With my first look around the area I saw this huge compound right next to my base. I didn't think much about it now but it would become a problem.
went over to junkyard for a green card and then to satellite for a blue card. Then over to water treatment. I went on my first roam around the area, where I ran into my first dog. But as nighttime fell, I started hearing a raid in the distance. With my first guns of the wipe acquired, I decided to do a small eco raid.
I heard another eco raid in the distance. So I decided to go and check that out and come back to this one later. Oh, oh, oh no, oh man, no. Fuck you. Please pick me. It had been an ambush. Oh my god. I continued with the raid, but got sidetracked again when I heard semi shots close by. After dying yet again, I finally finished the raid. But it didn't have anything in it. But this base would prove very useful down the line. I went to outpost and recycled all my components. I went out on a small farming trip. And I went to do water treatment again. I crafted some pistol bullets and went out on my first roam with a gun. And here is where I started making a lot of enemies. Hey man! Trade? Oh my god, I died by a fucking compambo guy. My aim is not on point today. Holy shit.
Jesus Christ. build a new base because that's my base is gonna get gold door camp like all the time now I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Oh my god, I'm so fucking shit at this game, it's actually crazy. I don't deserve that fight, but I'm <laughs> not gonna complain. Like, I didn't hit my shots at all. Jesus! Fucking scared the shit out of me. I knew I was gonna get door camped. Fucking knew it. some stuff. I had attracted too much attention to my base, so I decided to take over the one I had raided. We need to move. I think I'm gonna move everything over to that base actually.
Okay, all the farm and shit is at least safe now. Okay, I took a break for like half an hour. I went into a build server because the base I'm building is quite the project. One of the turrets doesn't have enough electricity, it looks like. I mean, if he's gonna be on his roof, um, I'm gonna have some fun. Back on his roof. Ah, oh, he got that up. Thank you. They're still on the roof, like, they don't leave the roof. Like, every time they're up on the roof, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag them. I'm just gonna tag them like that every time they're, <laughs> they're up on the roof. Just be a fucking... Just be annoying as hell to them. I mean, before I log off, I'm definitely gonna have to build the main base. So those guys probably are gonna raid like every single base in this entire area. Cause like they haven't, they haven't been online like this whole day. They was online, they were online in the beginning, but I feel like now like the night crew is on. They're just gonna be on all night. Raid every single base in the area. I was on my way to do oil rig when I saw that cargo ship was out. Ooh, cargo ship. So I decided to go for that instead. four nice hopefully we can get two c4s and we can do a small raid <laughs> look how ugly the, uh, the swamp looks from like far away <laughs> okay that was trash Guess it's all right. That wasn't a good cargo ship, but I mean, I'll take it. Before I had even put away the cargo loot, I started hearing AKs right outside. Okay, there were a bit too many. <laughs> Thought there were two, but... They're still on the roof, like they... Literally don't go outside. That 
That's where Slayer lives again. Not the cleanest AK, but an AK nonetheless. I took all the components I had gotten from Cargo and went over to Outpost to recycle them. I was wondering where he lived, like they were, they were clearly the like geared, geared guys. And then there was like no big base, but now it makes sense. They live in the cave. I mean, <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to raid that, but at least it's good to know. Then he was straight back to PvP. After this, things quieted down for a bit, so I decided to do some farming. I shot at the roof campers a little bit. And then I did some shopping using the new drone system. But as I was running home, I started hearing rockets in the distance. Excuse you? I died, but I quickly geared up and ran back. I 
I decided to take my winnings and run. I transferred everything from my old base to the new one. Then I checked out the loot. One day of absolutely dominating the area. But the story doesn't end here. No, this, this was only the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment with any feedback on how I can improve my videos down in the comment section. Also, you can join my Discord server for channel updates or if you just want to chat with me. If you want to support me a little extra, you can do that over at my Patreon. All the links are in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace and goodbye.